So what do we see there first? Yeah. So we see a little bit of that. <laughs> That's all right. Good. So this is now going to be in. And you can go through here. It's like under there. Good. Nope. So now, like I said, tempo, eccentric, where we're just going volume. And now she can squeeze through, exhale out. And make sure when you can track, come through, you're trying to blow all that air out. All right? So breathe in as much as you can. Build up that pressure through there. And like I said, Stability, but stability to increase range. Hard to track. Good. Do we have two, uh, like two monster meetings? Good. Now let's go single leg. All right, so left leg stands like. Yeah. So same thing, trying to maintain a level hip through there. Here you go. Stand slightly. No, single, single leg into here. Yeah. So if not, it's good. Good. Let's go right into that overhead squat now. Let's face that way. So this is one of the one of the ones that we have the most problem with. One of the ones we have the most problem with is good, yep, 90, up, squat down. Perfect. So if the athlete has problems going down, past that, and we see that tilt, let's just come on up. So show that tilt. Posterior there you go. Good. So same thing. Building up that pressure as we go. Hands through. Right into my finger. Go. Pressure, pressure, pressure. And then just squeeze that glue. Come on up. Blow that air up. And then blow it hard. What you want her inhaling through the entire range on the way down? Yeah, absolutely. We're trying to get as much air as possible. So not a full inhale prior? No. You as you're going down, you want to try to build that pressure. Good. All right? And then the next one, this is probably the hardest. Oh, like a mini. And then cross here. Let's go with the right leg. Left hand. Left hand. Good, yeah. So, this isn't a squat to press. I want to just be retracted through that scap. Good. Not too much. Good. And then that thumb comes right up, even with the crease of that arm pit. Yep. So all I want to do is see a simultaneous squat and just press up there, staying retracted, really less than 99. Only thing is, don't be internally rotated there. Good. And then build that pressure up. Good. So now, here, blow out as you come up. I did that backwards. So breathe in, down and hold. Good. Just like that. Has anyone seen the, like, the McKechnie stuff? Yeah. That's you have of, those bands. Yeah, we have those, those bands. So anyone that's having problems through there and not really getting it, we can go through there with the physio ball and things like that. And I think adding the IoT and these small, these small correctives, we clean up patterns, I mean fast. The ATs I think help, but I think they're working more with happy to have, you know, serious dysfunction. Things where we're not going to load them, you know, in the squat, things like that. But for us, everyone's going to have, especially our hockey players, as the season goes on, we're getting shorter and shorter. You're changing those patterns here. We want to manage them. This is the way that we go through every single day. Boom. Glutes on, core tight, shoulder, and hopefully just remind them before they go out there, hit a heavy load or go out on the ice and, and exceed that volume or the tissue capacity. And I think they do that on a regular basis, so being able to manage this, recheck in, and then to have the, the numbers to back that up. I mean, I just, for me, someone who, who probably intellectually doesn't have 
uh, the, same, the same resources as, as, as some. I get to use those tools, kind of create my picture, and map that out. And so that's what we're trying to do. So, yeah. So when they're at this point, they've already, you've already established with them what you mean by watching breathing well, what you want them to be able to do? They would be, they would be proficient with their breathing patterns, yes. Like, they, I don't expect that they'd be able to lay down on the ground, you know, show me belly breathing. That's really important. Yes. And then we'll go through, we'll start, you know, sing, single joint exercises, and then progress the, uh, the complexity of that movement to add, you know, more, more co-contractions, really. So, does that make, does that make sense? How did you say that you have that confidence? Did you, say, did you say that you get them and they're already there? Well, what we're doing with the, with the tier, I'm just passing them on, on to Steve. And we'll spend a lot of time early on, and they're not all good, you know, hand on, hand on the belly, hand on the chest, which one's moving more, you know, but really trying to teach them. And then the ones that, that really struggle, I'll go see, you know, send them to see Steve or Art, and they can do some of the DNS stuff. It doesn't usually take, I mean, you, you know better than I do, but some, somebody else, it doesn't take long to clean that stuff up. If you, yeah, exactly. So now at this point, like, they understand this stuff, and they're really starting to embrace it where before, they feel, they feel from the very beginning how, the ground, how it, it impacts them from yeah. the ability standpoint and how they can control their spine and pelvis. Right, and especially when you do this stuff and then throw them on the octo and then show them how many contacts or what their power output was going there, that's when, you know, I think you, you can do a lot. So, oh, let's go one, one more. No, 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 we'll go over here. This is one of my favorite ones. This, if we had a, had a, uh, a power brief, we could do even better. Nice. Yeah. Good. Let's go split squat facing me, outside leg for me. Or is this just for your, like, your corrective? 
this is just for my traffic. Now, anybody, like, I think Jill, the first couple months that she was in, was like, what are we doing? Because we spent so much time. But, like, I mean, the team you work mostly with, with field hockey with me, you know, when, when field hockey first started, we knew they were able to, to uh, you know, get, field a team. I mean, they had so many injuries. Once you go over, I think it was, like, three, three ACLs in that one year. So our goal with them was injury-free. You know, or as close to as possible. So that's what we're looking to try to do, decrease those. And then I think for them, if we had more time with field hockey, they're really at a point now where they can progress and we, we can focus on both. Hockey, who's, you know, they, those guys kind of, they, they have a lot more time in the way we're dedicated, where they've reached this point now. Now we're starting to see benefits to us loading, uh, you know, strength numbers, power numbers, and then these are our speed moves. But all of our, our squats and cleans, not all, but a good majority of them are all done on the tendons too. So that they feel that sequence. And if they're off, they see it because they just lost whatever meters per, per second on, on that rep. So we're trying to reinforce everything on boom, get yourself set down, lap, you know, uh, engage the lap, break the bar, load through that hip. You have that pressure through here, and then bang from the abs, pop, sink under, and now we'll see see what the numbers are. So let's go through. I don't know how many we have advanced, but oh, and then the push up, the push up on the bow suit, same idea. As you're going down, you're building up that pressure through there, setting that hip, and then as you press through, you contract the tight. All right, full squeeze, full time. Good.